I use a 16 oz foot grade disposable plastic container with a cover to set up a couch of springtails. First let's make holes in the cover pocket the cover from the top and side of the container. Needle sized holes would allow air circulation while reducing water evaporation. About a week ago I picked some nice green moss in the local park. Washed moss clean and soaked it in water as I usually do preparing land moss for aquariums. I have enough moss here to set up three containers. Washing and soaking moss in water helps to remove unwanted insects and such. Put enough moss in the empty container to cover the bottom. I also prepared a piece of plastic for collecting springtails later. Now let's collect springtails from an old well-established culture. Here I keep uh, springtails with grindle worms and polyester. Springtails put in water stay on the water surface while grindle worms sink to the bottom. As you can see here. It is the simplest way of separating springtails from grindle worms. The water also wash away sperm deposits left by springtail males. There are simpler and more efficient ways to seed a new springtail culture than using water. Check my previously published video if you are interested. I see enough springtails here to start a new culture. So let's dump the water with springtails in the container with moss we prepared. I actually prepared three containers in the same way. It would take about six weeks for springtails population to start growing. I feed springtails with a piece of Cheerios flake. Cover the moss with the plastic. And close the container. Already on set on September 20th, 2021. Here you can see all three new cultures on October 9th. I've been checking on springtails cultures daily to make sure the culture are moist. And feed springtails only if the old food is gone. In this culture food is almost gone. Let's add one flake of cereal. Three days later the food is gone. Springtails feed on all kinds of organic waste, including dying brown moss you may see in the first two cultures. So don't be surprised that uh, it takes longer for springtails to eat cereal in some cultures. Remember to keep springtails cultures moist. October 15th. It's been about four weeks since I set up those springtails cultures. Springtails cultures do fine kept like that. Though I prefer to keep springtails with grindle worms in the same containers. I have three main reasons for keeping them together. Springtails and grindle worms thrive in the same environment. My fish eat springtails and grindle worms, so it's space saving to keep them together. And springtails actually prefer to feed on poop of worms than cereal and such. Also springtails with grindle worms cultures are much more stable than springtails kept alone. I've never lost a culture in the past couple years. Well, it makes four reasons to add grindle worms in all springtails cultures. October 28th. I see a bunch of baby springtails on the walls of containers. Springtails like to gather on moistened walls or any wet surface for that matter. It takes a couple months for moss to grow noticeably more. And meanwhile we can use polyester foam to increase surface for springtails. Look how many springtails are here already. Let me spray some water in for you to see springtails. Ok, let's put the polyester on the bottom and the moss goes on the top. Adding polyester is optional. Let's spread the moss a bit. This container is basically a small high humidity terrarium. Look how many springtails are on the cover. 
From now on the population of sprint tails will keep increasing and may need more food. It's better to add a small amount of food daily, as needed, than have leftovers of food in the culture. Overfeeding causes mold growth and disease. The culture of springtails keeps growing and spreading all over the container, including the cover. It keeps growing to the limit of the space and food available. Then the population of springtails will start to decline as with any other species. And so it goes naturally in cycles. Notice how long the strings of moss have grown already after about two months. It's a perfect time to split the culture into two cultures or move it into a larger terrarium. Check my previous videos to see how I've done that. When I see too many springtails in the well-established culture, I use them to feed my fish. That is where the piece of plastic comes very handy. Shake spring tails off of the plastic in the aquarium. My top feeding anglers and guppies enjoy eating spring tails at least once a week. It takes four, six cultures to feed fish continuously every week all year round. Lime moss retains water way better than soil or polyester while offering great surface volume for spring tails to breed on. And the moss with breeding springtails on it can be used directly from the culture right in terrariums. Or in paludariums as in this example. I keep springtails and isopods on the land part of my paludarium as a cleaning crew and my fish eat springtails falling in the water. And newts eat isopods falling in the water. And the moss covers the entire land part. So basically, I use the same concept of culturing spread tails on live moss in this paludarium as in 60 moss containers. Well, isopods instead of grindle worms. And I feed isopods with bork and potatoes instead of cereal. So spring tails can enjoy feeding on the poop of isopods. Live moss is uh, one of the best mediums for culturing springtails. Have fun and happy springtails!